So we said, look, you have lost the name Jesus Christ, according to the Holy Quran says, Wa is qala Isa ibn Maryam. Says, behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya bani Israel, O children of Israel, inni Rasulullah ilaykum. So most certainly, I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Musaddiq al lima bayna yadayya min al-Tawrati. Confirming the revelation which came before me. Wa musaddiq. مصدق لما بين يدي من التوراة ومبشرا برسول يأتي من بعد اسمه أحمد and giving you glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad which is another name for Muhammad Muhammad and Ahmad are synonymous terms for this mighty messenger of God Ahmad that is what the Quran tells us but Christian says, look, it's not, it's not in my book. It's not here. There's no Ahmad and there's no Muhammad. So you are left with no alternative but to analyze what is there. You see, they have uh, verses in the Bible, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, where it says, nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus says. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he is come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me and on and on. He says, if I don't go, the Comforter will not come unto you. We say that Comforter is Muhammad. They says, no. Jesus didn't say Muhammad, he said comforter. We are asking, did Jesus speak English? Did he say comforter? He says no. He spoke Hebrew, that's his mother tongue. Then he said, what did he say? We haven't got it. In other languages, in the Arabic language, nearest to Hebrew, the same verse reads, لَكِنِّي أَكُولُ لَكُمُ الْحَقُّ إِنَّهُ خَيْرًا لَكُمْ in Antalika, li Allahu illam Antalik, la yatikum al muazzi, walakin in zahabtu ursilhu ilaykum. He used the word muazzi. I said, Did you speak Arabic? He says, No. I said, What did he say? In Afrikaans, the word there is truasta. I said, Did you speak Afrikaans? He says, No. I said, What did he say? In Zulu, he says, Um Togazi. I said, Did you speak Zulu? You're Jesus? He says, no. I said, what did he say? In 2,000 different languages, you can buy the Bible today. 2,000. And in 2,000 different languages, there are 2,000 different names. What did he say? Did he say, Muazzi? Did he say, Comforter? Did he say, Truster? Did he say, Umtogazisi? What did he say? The Quran says, he said, Ahmad, which is another name for Muhammad. But since you have lost the term, the name is lost. No sense in me pushing it down the throat. He said, look, it was Ahmad, another name for Muhammad. No. Now what we have to do is to reason. We have to deduce. Reason with them. Our Christian brothers and sisters, reason with them. He said, look, you say it is the comforter. Who is the comforter? He said, the comforter is the Holy Ghost. They say, the comforter is the Holy Ghost. So they'll ask you, is Muhammad a ghost? He says, no. So it can't be Muhammad. I said, now what is that Greek word for ghost in your language? Greek word. It's pneuma. Pneuma means spirit. Wherever it suits you, you translate that word, P-N-E-U-M-A, pneuma. A spirit, when it suits you, you translate it as ghost. When you talk about spirit, you can have it fitting Muhammad. But when you say ghost, like a spook, it's very difficult to say Muhammad is a spook. Muhammad was no spook. You know, he was the most solid character in history. This is the difficulty. I will explain what they have done to that word. But they say Holy Ghost. Muhammad is not the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. But there is no such word as ghost in Greek. So Jesus makes it a condition. That if I don't go, he won't come. But if I go, I will send him. So if it is the Holy Ghost, we are suggesting that look, the Holy Ghost was long before Jesus was with the people. 
according to your Bible, in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, we are told that Elizabeth had the Holy Ghost. What it means, I don't know. But she had it before Jesus was born. The Holy Ghost was there. It tells us again that Zechariah had the Holy Ghost. What that means, I don't know. It also says that John the Baptist, Yahya alayhi salam, they call him John. Yahya, we say Yahya. Yahya alayhi salam. He had the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb before he was born. The Holy Ghost was with him in his mother's womb inside. What he was doing inside there, I don't know. But it was there. Look, look, this is what the Bible says. Jesus, when he was preaching and healing, he said, I, by the Spirit of God, do these, these things. I, by the finger of God, cast out devils. Spirit of God is that Holy Ghost. Did the Holy Ghost help him in his ministry? He said, yes. Help him to do, perform miracles? He said, yes. Did the Holy Ghost help his disciples? He said, yes. When they went out on the mission of preaching and healing, with whose help were they preaching and healing, if not with the help of the Holy Ghost? So the Holy Ghost was with Elizabeth, was with Zechariah, with John the Baptist from his mother's womb, was with Jesus, was with the disciples. So it makes no sense to say that if I don't go, he won't come. Condition. But if I go, I will send him. Is something other than the Holy Ghost. And it is simple, basic. Now, how can Muhammad, we can say that this is Muhammad. Let's see. The same chapter... Verse 7 it says, it says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them. Now, nah, you haven't got that capacity. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. Spirit of truth. Who is the spirit of truth? Ask the Christian. Is the Holy Ghost. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. So who is the spirit of truth? They said the Holy Ghost. I said, all right, if this is the Holy Ghost, tell us now, what new things has he given you in the past 2,000 years? He said, Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. But before we expound this aspect, let me reread to you this verse with a little emphasis on the pronouns. He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them. Ah, how be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself. But what things shall he hear, that shall he speak, and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come, he shall glorify me. Eight masculine pronouns in one verse. I say, it ill befits a ghost. You agree? That is a man, a man, a man, a man. Eight times. There is not another verse in the whole Bible with eight masculine pronouns, or eight feminine gender, or eight neuter genders. There isn't. This is a unique verse for a unique personality, Muhammad. Man, 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 not a ghost, not a spook. But we are told it's a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? I say yes. That's what your Bible says. You see, every time the word spirit is used in your Bible, I'm telling the Christian, it doesn't stand for the Holy Ghost. Because in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, it, we are told that seven spirits of God went out into the world. I say, you believe in seven Holy Ghosts? He says, no, there's only one Holy Ghost. I said, look, it's a seven spirits. It means there should be seven Holy Ghosts. No, spirit doesn't stand for Holy Ghost every time. Then in the same John, the same John, in the first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 4, he says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. So false spirit is a false, false prophet is a false spirit, true prophet is a true spirit. The same John is using spirit for a prophet. Don't believe every spirit, don't believe in every prophet. The spirit, it says that confesseth that Jesus is the Christ is of God. Means the prophet that says that Jesus is the Christ, is the Messiah, the Messiah is from Allah. 
That's what John says. I said, well, find out whether this spirit, this prophet Muhammad, does say that Jesus is the Christ. Open Surah Ali Imran, chapter 3, verse 45, it says, so behold, the angel said, O Mary, inna Allaha yubashiruki bi kalimatin minhu, that Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him. Ismuhul Masih, his name will be the Messiah, translated Christ. Muhammad said, is he the Christ? Yes, that's what every Muslim believes. On the testification of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, 1,000 million Muslims of the world, they believe that Jesus is the Christ. He says, the spirit that confesses, the prophet that says that Jesus is the Christ is of God. Why don't you apply this to Muhammad? 